hello guys here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I am going to show you how to make super delicious malai chicken with cow milk cream I mean the cream collected from the regular milk that comes our home it's really a very simple recipe and very delicious to eat with any kind of Indian staple dishes such as roti, chapati, chawal etc. So let's see the recipe. Here you can see friends that I have taken half kg of chicken. I have washed them properly and after washing I have drained the water very nicely. And here I have some curd. Some less than half cup of curd is here. And now I am adding the curd to the chicken. Actually we have to marinate the chicken. So we will add some powder spices also. 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half teaspoon of coriander powder. And half teaspoon full of ready made chicken masala. I mean chicken spices mixture. We don't have to add salt here. I have washed my hand properly and now I am mixing them with my hand very nicely. We have to break down all the lumps of curd very nicely. There should not be any lumps in the mixture. So now they are done as you can see. And now we will leave this for uh, 20 to 30 minutes to be marinated. And within this time period we will do the rest of the things. So I have taken a pan, turned the heat on and added some cooking oil. We have to fry onion here. So here I have taken two medium sized onions sliced and we will fry them until a little brown color. Transparent color is also ok, there is no problem. And here you can see friends that the color has started to be brown and now we will take them out into a bowl and let them cool down. And after cooling down we have to blend them into paste with other spices. So let them cool down and now I have taken a small mixer jar and I am adding the onion fried onion here and here I am taking some fresh coconut here you may add dry coconut also there is no problem 1 inch ginger some cloves of garlic here will be 15 to 18 cloves of garlic and at the same time I will add tomato also one medium sized tomato roughly chopped and I am taking some Kashmiri Lal Mirch that means paprika uh, you may skip it there is no problem actually I am taking them for a brighter color you may add paprika powder instead or skip it there is no problem and now we will blend them into smooth paste we will add water gradually and make a fine paste of them and now the paste is ready as you can see don't add much water at a time it will help you make a smooth paste and now we have to go for the gravy I have taken the same pan here and I am adding some cooking oil and some ghee you may take fully oil or fully ghee there is no problem and now we have to let the oil heat well and after that we have to add some cumin seeds here now the oil is hot well and now I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds into the pan let them tackle well and after that we will add the spices paste here I am adding the paste to the oil and uh, I will add some water washing the mixer jar also stirring a little and uh, now we have to add some powder spices also so now I am adding red chilli powder according to taste and some garam masala I am adding 1 4 teaspoon of garam masala here and I uh, will add some garam masala more at the end of the process I am mixing very nicely the spices mixture seems very dry so I am adding some more water I am stirring a little we haven't added salt yet so we have to add salt here I am adding salt according to taste mixing nicely and now we will cover the pan 
and cook until the mixture is dry. In between we have to uncover the pan and stir the mixture very nicely and now the mixture is nicely dry as you can see and a very little oil is released from the spices. So now it's high time to add the malai here. Malai means cream, cow milk cream. I stored the malai for 3 days. Here you can see some more than half cup of malai here. And it's not frozen now. It's in normal temperature. If yours is frozen then bring it to normal temperature before adding. And now we don't have to beat it. We may add it directly like this. I am adding it to the mixture, spices mixture. Now I will stir the mixture very nicely, mix everything properly and after adding the malai we don't have to wait for a long time, we will add in the marinated chicken also. So here is the chicken as you can see, I am adding the chicken also to the spices and I will give it a nice mix. The heat should be on medium now and after mixing very nicely I will cover the pan and cook for some time. In between I am uncovering the pan and checking the chicken pieces. You can see friends that uh, enough water is released from the chicken pieces. We have to stir them very nicely and cover them again. And uh, now the mixture is dry enough and enough ghee is released from the malai. I mean enough oil is released from the milk cream as you can see. Now we have to stir them very nicely and after that we will add water for gravy. So now here I am adding water for gravy. Add hot water here, don't use normal water here. Hot water makes our curry very tempting to look at. So I am adding hot water and uh, I am adding about 2 and a half cup of water here. You may change the quantity of water according to your wish, there is no problem. A little more water I am adding. And now we have to cover the pan but before covering the pan I will add some kasuri methi. It's a half teaspoon of roasted kasuri methi, roasted and crushed kasuri methi of course. And here I am taking some fresh coriander leaves. I am adding some of the coriander leaves now and the rest of them I will add at the end of the process. And at the same time I am adding half teaspoon of sugar here. You may skip the sugar here but this quantity of sugar will bring a great taste to the curry and it will balance the sourness of tomato and the curd. So it will bring a great taste to the curry. So now I am covering the pan and cooking for 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat. After 15 minutes this is the texture as you can see. Our malai chicken is almost ready. Before turning the heat off, I will add some garam masala at the end of the process. I am adding about half teaspoon of garam masala and the rest of the coriander leaves here. I will mix it very nicely and our malai chicken is ready to serve. Now we will turn the heat off and after turning the heat off, we will cover the pan and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. And after that we will serve it. Within this time period the texture will be so tempting. And now after serving you can see the texture of the curry. It's so tempting to look at, isn't it? It's very delicious to eat also. It's highly delicious to eat with roti, chapati, boiled rice, fried rice, jeera rice etc. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.